Hi folks, welcome to America 2.0, hope you've had a good day and everything. I'd like to bring you a story, a story from Free Beacon. Uh, Saudi Arabia about to let Israel in Saudi airspace to bomb Iranian nuclear sites. Uh, this is coming straight from Jerusalem, folks. Uh, February 25th, 2015, about 2.15 p.m., Saudi Arabia is to let Israel know that it's prepared to allow Israeli warplanes to fly over Saudi Arabian territory to bomb Iranian nuclear installations. Uh, the Channel 2 of Free Beacon or whoever's actually running this thing. Uh, cited knowledgeable European officials in Brussels are saying the Saudi authorities are completely coordinated with Israel on this matter related to Iran. Uh, the Jewish state and the Saudi king cite the holiest of shrines in Islam share a strategic concern over Iran's pursuit of influence in the region and the possibility that it would produce nuclear weapons. Israel's concerns is focused on threats uh, by Iranian leaders that it will be wiped off the map. Saudi Arabia, whose state religion is Sunni Islam, sees Iran as an aggressor, Shiite opponent. Both are unwilling to, to uh, counter an enemy. The acquisition of nuclear weapons by Iran. In other words, neither Saudi Arabia nor Israel are willing to allow Iran in that region or any other to have nuclear weapons. Uh, it isn't going to state it here, folks, that I'm aware of. But this is basically based on the go fuck yourself given by the Obama administration. Uh... How everybody's up in arms about not allowing him to speak before Congress and everything. Well, Netanyahu is just taking it to the next level. He's saying, well, if I can't get you guys to do your job, fuck you. I don't need you. He went to Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is willing to let them use Saudi airspace to go bomb the shit out of uh, Iranian nuclear sites. This is going to go down when it does, folks. It's going to be really fucked up. I mean, this is this is going to be on Obama's super shit list. But hopefully, uh, good prevails out of it, and you know, the dictator in chief gets what's coming to him, and all his uh, special interest people finally wake up and leave. But according to television report, Israel and Saudi Arabia share intelligence regarding Iran, Iran's nuclear program and are concerned about reported concessions made by the West in comprehensive agreement it is attempting to hammer out with Tehran on the issue. See, that's exactly what I told you, folks. Although the agreement is supposed to diminish the possibility of Iran's producing a bomb in the near future, both Jerusalem and uh, Riyadh object to the possibility that it will be left with the nuclear infrastructure capable of being activated in a brief time. I'm not going to go into this too much, folks. This is just the same thing over and over and over. But here it is, folks. Obama told Netanyahu to go fuck himself. He's not allowed to speak in Congress. And nobody's going to show up and shit. So he went to Saudi Arabia and said, can I have permission to, to bomb the sites myself? And I bet you Saudi Arabia goes in and supports them on the ground. I bet, I bet real fucking soon, folks, this shit goes south. 